Ladies and gentlemen, this is Dragon Roar, and I welcome you to my next game slash our next adventure in the Marvel Universe. Mar Marvel Midnight Suns. Hello, Gregory. Welcome to the stream. So this was released about um, probably a few a while back when the Marvel game made its first debut on the PS5. All right. So, hello, Sensei. Welcome to the stream. So I did manage to get the season pass for this game because one, it's on, well, it's on sale. So, so we will start. Let's go ahead and. Uh, okay, so we're gonna have to make sure. No. I don't see any subtitles. I don't think we don't need any subtitles on. Alright. Okay, we're just gonna go with um, story because I, I told you that this, there's story, normal, heroic, ultimate, Yikes. All right. Okay, so we can... All right, play tutorial tutorial mission, because... Uh, hello, Sebastian. Welcome to the stream. All right, let's begin. What the? Crossbones! And this is Hydra! Hello James, welcome to the stream. You know how much I hate this hocus pocus nonsense, Faustus. Now you wanna tell me just what the hell is so important? Hello, Flippy. Welcome Sleeping to the stream. Mother, sacred Harbinger, awaken and reclaim what is yours. You That's who rise with the Dr. Faustus. Darkness. Who prepares the path for the Midnight Sun? Turn your merciless eyes upon us and arise! Hello, nice Samantha. Show, Welcome Doc. to stream. Next time, hey, Daisy. Better yet, I'll just shoot you and save us all the trouble. What are they doing? Lilith. Lilith. Well, this can't be good. Looks like there's a threat happening. Her name is Lilith. There is a prequel of the Midnight Suns and you'll have to find it on YouTube, I assure you. Six months later. I can feel it, Rox. Trouble in the air. More innocent blood joining you soon. <laughs> Head back to your magic castle. You ain't welcome here. That's Johnny Blaze, the original Ghost Riser writer. He doesn't like you either. It's called a sanctum. And welcome or not, this is where fate has determined the Sorcerer Supreme needs to be. 
And there, here's Doctor Strange, Sorcerer Supreme. Look, I can't happy to talk about it. Tell fate answers no. This is the secret guardian you dragged me 5,000 miles to meet? Who's the mouth? Mr. Stark is brash, but I assure you, he can be trusted. Wait, you seriously don't know who I am? The fabric of magic is shifting, Johnny. The prophecy of the Midnight Sun is upon us. Your last crusade cost me plenty. This time, I intend to look after my own. Hey, pal, I don't think you understand. Things are changing. Oh, a circus! Two plus two no longer equals four. Up is sometimes down, and strange here is actually starting to make sense. Do I look like someone who gives a damn about any of that? No, you look like you should be bouncing for the double deuce. Listen, all I know is hell's coming, and my pal here says you can. Uh, uh oh. That's where you're wrong. Hell's not coming. It's already here. Well, this can't You're be welcome, good. Man. Uh, Iron Man? Yes, that's Iron Man. Billionaire inventor. And he's actually Tony Stark, as, as we all know. It's okay. It's fine. I know what he meant. Heads are coming. We come all the way out here, and the old man runs off with that precious page of yours. Ugh. He left us some VIP passes for the carnival. Maybe blown up a few monsters on the way out. Johnny Blaze has sacrificed a great deal for this world already. I am certain he will come around given time. Thought you said time was the one thing we didn't have. Uh, all right, let's just wrap this up. I got about sand in my nanopolymer weave. All right. Now this is this is a lot different than the combat. Than fighting in combat. We can still fight these abominations. We have to play cards. We so each turn you receive three cards. This is not like the chain of memories, okay? Alright. This one has attack. These are attack cards. Let's go ahead and demonstrate this, yeah? All right. Hi, Chris. Welcome to the stream. All right. You got a problem, James? Here we go. Nice. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. All right. Two more cards. I'm saving my energy so we need it. They don't all have to be pretty. Am I really going to have to bring out the big guns for this? All right, the hero, heroism, and heroic cards. All right. All right. Let's take care of these rest of these demons. Sure, why not? Nice. All right. Uh oh, is my stream lagging? No, it's not. All right, once you played your cards, once you play your cards, okay, stop. All right. All right, we don't have any cards. Uh-oh. Backup. Or they call for backup. So, who wants to go first? All right, minions and elites. 
Minions have no health. Any damages defeat them instantly. Okay, they are frail, but they're still dangerous. Yeah. Elites have higher health. That suit may be a marvel of technology, but it's no match for the mystic arts. Allow me to demonstrate. Oh, so it's uh, a contest now. Then you take the extra creepy one. Gladly. Uh, all right. This card... This card can do a knockback effect. Get out. isn't enough to scare off these so-called children of Lilith. All right. Let's take care of these demons. And still reigning world heavyweight champion, Iron Man. <laughs> still a show off, huh? as miserable as possible for Ouch. you. Ouch! Fair warning. Ouch! Oh crap, here. more backup or... More backup. Ready when you are, boss. Alright. Hello, Jamari and Willie. Welcome to the stream. Now that I have their attention, perhaps a blessing is in order. Something... protective? I could give you a hand, or a shield in this case. In the spirit of cooperation, I'll accept your offer. Just this once. Huh, don't mention it. This isn't like dual mo This isn't like Yu-Gi-Oh, guys. You're gonna have to use any ability, whether it's weapons and such. All right, this one used skill cards. We go ahead and increase Doctor Strange's defense. My humble thanks. No problem. All right. No, it would have been neat. All right, it's all right. But stranger things have happened. Indeed. Hello, Willie. Welcome to the stream. Lilith certainly made them enthusiastic. They haven't given up. More, more. I like our chances. I think we pissed them off. Got a spell for that, maybe? Interesting. A spell changed the very demeanor of our enemies. Something along the lines of the psionic manipulations of Eros of Titan? If you can't make it happen in the next ten seconds, I'm not interested. All right. That'll work. Who well, we... Your armor? 
because it looks like junk. All right. We gotta get ready, scum. Impressive. Double kill! Enemies can receive massive damage in from environments. And while you ponder arrows, maybe we should just try throwing a big rock Thro at them? Throw this? A moment. You've been rocked! Okay, can't... Alright, we don't have any cards. Ouch! Ouch! Let's begin. Oh, well, I think that's the last of them. Which is good. Yes. Alright. I was just stepping outside the restaurant to... Call. And yet I'm the one who's still single. Yep. Stark is going out with Pepper. Nice! That's all of it. Alright, that's all of them. If I'm being honest, that encounter went better than I expected. Tony, I've been noticing a recurring gamma spike. You see, Bruce this is Banner! Why you shouldn't eat spicy food, Bruce. Localized in the West Village, converging on the Sanctum. What? <gasps> Scarlet the Witch! Dwarves of the universe's greatest sorcerers, and he left them underneath the takeout menus. Ah, shifting mystical polarities are wreaking havoc on my portals. You two no are no sir. fun! You okay, kid? Scarlet Witch, Strange's new apprentice. It's complicated. Yes. Are you? Let's uh, put a pin in that. Oh. Her real name is Wanda Maxima. Ah, Captain Marvel. It really flirk and powerful. Carol. Bruce and I have been trying to reach you. He'd have come himself, but he's. Oh, you did the big green guy proud. <laughs> Uh oh, Hydra! I really showed up my homeowner's insurance. Hail Hydra! Miss Maxim, the wards of protection, if you please. Stephen, I can fight. I've got control now. Then show me by activating the wards. In the meantime, in honor of our missing companion, the rest of you may feel free to smash away. <laughs> Nice one, Carol. Always the direct approach. You know I don't mess around. Besides, we picked up some crazy gamma readings coming from, well, here. Guessing that explains the Hydra goons and ominous green lights. Yes, but not while you fail to use the front door. Um, hi, how about we discuss proper hero landing etiquette after we take down the bad guys? Follow yeah. Hi, Arnold. Welcome to the stream. I know that wasn't your signature move. Stoned! All right. Oh, that? It was nothing. Okay, redraw. Okay. Oh, Thank you. All right. What? 
Nice! More backup. Still waiting for them to try something. All right, we can move heroes. All right. Let's do it. But Davenport was at least a century old. What a waste. All right. Trying to knock back them. Fine, leave Raymond. Jeez. I hope this is one of the stronger arms. We did come all the way here for a fight. They seem Ouch! Insistent on attacking me. Put up much of a fight yet. All right. These guys just keep showing up. They are surprisingly relentless. In any event, must provide Wanda the time she needs to activate the wards of protection. Okay, we're gonna have to do what we can. What Hopefully, this isn't like. Hopefully, this isn't. I don't see any uh, movable. Is that all? all right. Don't make the same mistake twice. That'll work. Bail, smiter. <laughs> All right. Got to get rid of these. Kablamo. Interesting tactic. Ouch. Sure, pick on the smart guy. We're three of the world's strongest heroes, right? Doesn't it seem like this should be easier? I've punched through scroll star cruisers that went down faster. Something's up. Yes, Hydra has clearly raised their game. I have a terrible suspicion as to how. Okay. Let me show you the way. So I wonder where wonder where Goose is. Goose the cat. So that's how that works. 
Of course he's of course he's not really a cat, he's actually a flurgan. Whoa, a photon beam! That was really something. Not a problem. That's the spirit. All right. Oh. Yours. Shall we get on with it? Yes. Let's go ahead and finish it. Nice. That's the spirit. Something's blocking them. Not something. Someone. Uh oh. Who? Lilith, mother of demons, harbinger of the midnight sun. Prophecy or not, you overstep, challenging the sorcerer supreme. Be silent. Oh no! Be now you're still. What just happened? Oh! Are you kidding me? Be. No. Back off, Lilith! A fellow daughter of Transia. You remind me of my own beloved. In virtue de Visanti! All right. Well done, Miss Maximoff. Good Your job. Your unique energy surprised her. Whoa. Watch where you're aiming! The prophecy is in motion. Lilith is still out there growing stronger each second the Midnight Sun approaches. Define stronger. If we are to have any chance of stopping her, there is only one option left to us. I won't go back there. We all must eventually face our demons, Miss Maximoff. However, one of us should remain behind to maintain the wards of protection. See you on the other side. So she's staying... So she's staying behind. I don't blame her. Yeah, her name is Wanda Maximoff. And you got a trophy. Lilith returns. So this is just the beginning, folks. Okay. You did that one on purpose. The fabric of magic is unwinding. We are Watch your first to be step! Here. And where is here exactly? Salem, Massachusetts. Well. A pocket dimension in Salem, Massachusetts. Oh, suburbs. Nice. Welcome... The Abbey. Home of the Midnight Sun. Blade! The Midnight Suns. There's Blade. Nico. What the hell is this? Magic. Is this Junior Demon League? Wait, it's that jerk from TV. There's Nico. Which one? Magic. Ends with a K. And here's now, the news Ghost Rider. Just take a moment. Enough. Oh! And here's the caretaker, Last of the Blood Immortal. She's the one who formed the Midnight Suns. You're standing on my flowers. Oh, been a long time, Sarah. It's caretaker now. If I could have avoided this moment, I would, but... Oh, spare me the speech. I know Lilith's back. We are sisters, after all. Yep, they're relatives. Guess we're suddenly invisible now. Shall we chat, Stephen? Yes, his real name is Stephen Strange. No one can argue that the Hunter earned their rest in the first battle against Lilith. I only hope they are up for the task once more. You wizards always make everything sound so lofty. I raised my sister's only child as a weapon against her. And saved the world in the process. Now you want me to dig them up and ask them to do it again. I did not write the prophecy, Sarah. Besides, 
I am no common grave robber. We are simply reuniting their ethereal essence with their corporal form. Speaking of, it would help to have a mental image for the procedure. Spare no detail. Spiritual identity theft is no laughing matter. Okay, so bright. Don't have to confirm it. Child of light and darkness. You who came the night. Calm down, James. I don't I know you don't trust Scarlet. Hear the voice of those who beseech the end. The caller. Wait. The caller. Welcome to the world of the living, girl. Sarah. Where is she? As far as resurrection spells are concerned, I've seen worse. Particularly on myself. Tony, come on. It's perfectly safe. That thing wakes up and takes a bite out of you. Don't blame me. Visiting hours are over. Can't stay here forever. There's nowhere else I should be. Just saw that Stark guy poking around behind the mirror table. Find me as soon as they awaken. And Blade, be nice. Always am. This is just the beginning, folks. We begin the awakening. <gasps> so cold, but the air burns with every breath. Has it been so long? I know this place. In my dreams, it was always empty. But now I sense I am not alone. Hi, Blade. Hunter, you make one hell of an entrance. Hey, Blade. Guess that makes two of us. You should have struck when you had the chance, vampire. You will not live to regret your error. Cute. And caretaker told me to be nice. Relax, Slayer. I'm a friend. You just don't know it yet. Yes. I saw you with Sarah before. But what would she want with a vampire? Unless... The name's Blade, and I'm no ordinary vampire. I get you've been out of commission. But I thought you noticed since we're having this little showdown under the freaking sun. A damn peer? Daywalkers were a myth even Yes, to he's me. a daywalker. Says the half-human, half-demon monster hunter. Oh dear. Yes, I know what... I know what Wanda did. If for those who have seen uh, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, I know, I understand what she did in the other universe where she actually had kids that the regular one... Uh, I'm going to start to get mixed. I'm, I'm going to start to get all mixed. 
mixed in between. So, she was so devastated of wanting kids. All right. You all know Blade, right? That he's actually a, a day a daywalker. I think he may look like a vampire, but he's a a day walker or daybreaker. I forgot. He's on the good side and ye not so sure. Really not so sure if uh he is gonna ever gonna get along with the the Belmont. He would get along with Adrian. All right, so you appear quite versed in my history, Dampier. Heard my fair share of stories from Caretaker, the legendary hunter, child of Lilith, last champion of the blood. Some call you angel, some demon, probably a little of both. Led the like of Wondagore against the armies of darkness until you fell at. Fell? Fell? Shoot. This is why they don't normally have me do the meet and greets. I can see why. Right. As much as I'd love to see how much weirder this conversation can go, we should probably get moving. Agreed. The prophecy is in motion. I can feel it. We have wasted too much time here already. Man, the others are really going to love you. Others? Yeah, you've got a little fan club, I think. But why spoil the surprise? Hope you're up for the challenge, chosen one. And we'll be accompanying you, Hunter. Alright. Alright. Hunter's right there. So is... Yeah, Blade's real name is Eric Brooks. Robbie Reyes is the new Ghost Rider, and instead of driving a motorcycle, he, he drives a car. Maybe the hunter wasn't all dead. Some part of them had to be alive, otherwise my spell wouldn't have done anything. Which makes sense, I guess. I think both. Sounds like a reach to me. Huh, coming from a vampire who loves to sunbathe at the pool. Half vampire. Wow, just like Alucard. Either way, wouldn't count on that working again. Yes, we know. Just trying to help. How? By keep. All right. St Hunter. Not sure if you remember me, but we met briefly before. I'm the witch who called me back from the grave. Told you. Or Nico, but. Nico and this is Robbie Reyes. <laughs> oh man, never thought I'd be standing next to you. Got quite a rep. I mean, caretakers told us stories. That's Eliana. Brilliant. And I think you already met Blade. Nice to meet you, Blade. Of course. Caretaker has reformed the Midnight Suns. Well, how did you? Your power. I can feel it. I always do. So, welcome home. I guess we... I never left. Right. Well, we can fast forward through the tour then. The Abbey is still, well, you know. The Abbey. Basic stuff. Dorms, war room, library, a few places to chill, and uh, uh. whatever the hell the forge is. Have to say, 
to say. For a haunted transient castle raised on the cursed grounds of Old Salem, it's pretty cozy. Of course, that doesn't stop us from adding some improvements. We can all thank Robbie for the Wi-Fi. Oh, and one more thing. We've got some new house guests now. You think we're a fun bunch, just wait until you meet them. Speaking of, we're here. Yeah, okay, spend ten minutes in this place alone, Bruce, then see. Oh, <coughs> gotta go. She's about to begin. Hey! I mean, technically, you were here first, but don't expect any special treatment. Caretaker will have you mopping the floors and hauling trash whether you're two or two hundred. Caretaker's home for wayward sorcerers, scientists, and slayers. Eh, sounds like something Doctor Strange would come up with. We're not so sure what happened to the other Avengers. I'm hoping they don't run into any trouble. Be all the more vigilant out there. All right. Easy. Prophecies be damned. It's good to see that face again. You look like it was yesterday. And you look... older. How long was I in that crypt, Sarah? No more than a few centuries. You were... missed. Centuries? And what of Lilith? Fallen by your hand. Until now. <clears throat> yeah, so, speaking of Lilith... Tony? What? Tony, but don't start! Speaking of Lilith... Tony... Tony! Tony, that's, uh, Carol and Dr. Spooky over there. Here to Dr. Help. Strange. Help with what, exactly? Oh, I don't know. Throwing the magic amulet into the volcano? Smiting oh. the dragon mother? You tell us, kid. You are the chosen one, after all. Do you recall anything of that last encounter, child? There was... a voice. The rest is hazy. Oh, a voice. That's it? A voice? That's what we have to go on? Results of your long crypt sleep, most likely. A minor inconvenience. Everything required to restore those memories is contained within my sanctum. I will simply alert Wanda to prepare the necessary rituals. What? What's wrong? Straight voicemail? Some sorcerer supreme. Don't, mystical don't interference me. caused by this little pocket dimension of yours. Perhaps Agatha can help. Agatha? Allow me. A lot of... Whoa, what kind of network you run in there? The all-seeing eye of Ereshkigal who judges. Bound to enchanted Babylonian soul glass. We just call it the mirror table. The mirror table. Wanda, the dark force pushing against the wards. Stephen, where are you? She's in trouble. Nothing on earth could possibly affect those wards. Wanda's in trouble. Wanda is trouble. What? I'll go. You'll need my help, of course. Then let us make haste, Doctor Spooky. Our hunt begins now. Oh dear. Well, it looks like we better go. Following me, Doc. Maybe you should go introduce yourself to the youngins. I'm sure they know of the Sorcerer Supreme, and I wasn't following. How long have you two been sharing a room now? With everything going on right now, we simply cannot afford to lose contact with the Sanctum or Wanda. All right. Sure, you can come. We do need all the backup we can. All 
All right. So the only available right now is to, well, Hunter as always, the Doctor Strange and Blade. Let's go ahead and. Even given the fluctuations in the astral spectrum, I should be seeing something. Unless Bruce is right about gamma interference. <laughs> if such a thing could even exist. The wards have been activated before and I've never experienced such a reaction. Are you ready? The prophecy of the Midnight Sun does not linger, and neither should we. Lilith possesses the Dark Hold. If she forced her way into my Sanctum Sanctorum once, I suspect she can do it again. You are a Sorcerer Supreme. Can you not predict her movements? Normally, yes. But since your mother breached the Sanctum, my sense James! of the future has grown Jeez. voluminous in nature. Is that another language, or...? Oh, fuzzy. My predictions are fuzzy. For the first time as Sorcerer Supreme, I cannot foresee how the future unfolds. And with my apprentice in danger, we cannot tarry. All right. Your sanctum will survive. We shall see to that. Indeed. The Sanctum Sanctorum has weathered its fair share of trouble over the years. Blaze storms, a few short-tempered celestials, that issue with the Zoning Commission. But this time, it feels different. I do not doubt Wanda's capability, but without my predictive acumen, I cannot bolster the wards should she need it. Still, the wards are woven into the Sanctum's very essence. They should hold. In any case, all will be revealed with time. I suggest we make use of it while it still functions. All right. We should hurry. As much as I'd love to hear a first-hand account of your exploits, time is of the essence, I'm afraid. Yeah, our, our job is to try to increase friendship in Tinge each of hero. Tinge of impatience. It is my home under siege, after all. Let's go. Hey, Blade. About time. Not just about time, Mr. Brooks. Time, space, reality, the building blocks of magic. All must be constant for my portals to work properly. Yet as we now know, that is no longer the case. We've heard. Several times. Otherwise, I would still be hunting dread maidens in my sleep. Indeed, and while I certainly appreciate the view of this vista, I fail to see how it will hasten our return to the Sanctum. Magic is the answer. No, as I've just stated, magic is the problem. Your magic is... not ours. The ground you are standing on exists within two worlds. A mystical anchor point to Ileana's realm that allows her to... well... I'll just let her show you. Yeah, her real name's Ileana. But we go... Well, we're gonna call her Magic. Ends with a K instead of a C. Whoa! Oh! Oh my god! It reminds me how Virgil used to do that. No! Man, this... Man, this definitely how... Virgil do, does that. Alright. I know. I don't care what Strange says. I'm only going to the Sanctum to give the back. Alright, let's go to the portal. You're standing in limbo. Limbo? Nexus of all realities. Both real or... Otherwise, I know, Chris. Secret realm beyond the influence of Lilith. Ye. Are you certain of that? Because I am sensing all kinds of dark energy. That feeling you're being watched. General Hellhole vibe. Yes. All these potentialities converging at once. Truly surprising feat, Miss Rasputin. 
for someone so young, of course. Oh! Who's if that? This is crazy. Wait until you see Manhattan. From here, magic can open gateways to just about anywhere on our planet and beyond. We don't want to risk punching through the wards protecting your sanctum, Doctor. So we've chosen a safe exit a few blocks over instead. Jeez. Be worse than the last time. Jeez, this is just like how Kratos and Atreus. Ocean Avenue. I said Ocean Avenue, Magic. This is, this is how, definitely how Kratos and Atreus would travel. Looks like we're in New York. Oh, <laughs> oh well, dear. The wards of protection are still in place. There's the sanctum. For now, I suggest we hurry. Uh oh. <laughs> It's possible. Hydra officer. Not your average Hydra goon. No Want to bet? Welcome to New York. Welcome to New York. All right. I hesitate to call this good news, but I'm seeing minimal Hydra resistance between you and the Sanctum. Looks can be deceiving, I'm afraid. There's no way these foot soldiers are behind the disruption of the wards of protection. All right. Get ready for a shot! Bethany. Oh, nice! The enemy is stunned! Right. Impressive. All right. Hail Hydra. Screw Hydra. As Okay, call for more backup, huh? That gamma spike we detected in your area seems to be growing. Let's assume that's not a good thing. Gamma or not, I feel the hand of my mother at work here. All right. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. We gotta use- I gotta use these cards wisely. Just what this battle requires. Alright. Right, so... All right. Even for Hydra. All right, I can go ahead and... Nice! He's stunned! Alright. Wanda is calling out to me. I feel her struggle. Need to concentrate. Hang in there. And I won't be doing that. Here it comes. Nice. That's the spirit. Leveled up every day. Hold back and regroup. Is that the that wasn't very nice? I'm feeling good about the situation. Oh, uh oh, we gotta be careful. Move the excellent. Even the mother of demons is forced to rely upon hired hands occasionally. Yeah, we gotta, we have to move them. We gotta move out of the way. So Oh, you Using that cost him his life. What an idiot. Misguided as they are, remember, Hydra is still human under not Lilith. Yeah, he's right. You what the? The lifeblood of the mother pumps through our veins. The mother is eternal. Hydra is eternal. One of bed. He's being controlled. Oh, this is 
bad. Ooh. Wanda. Ward. Weakening. Cannot let them fail. She's back! Exactly. The Neighborhood Association is not going to like this. No. I'll handle it. I don't think this is gonna work! What the? The collar! Uh... Not? Do not be a young magic, little wizard. Looks like Venom is being controlled! Well, that certainly escalated quickly. Do I even want to know what that beast is? It calls itself Venom. Until now, a pale imitation of a very heroic young friend of mine. We will feed your ugly tongue to the spider wizard. Marinate it in his stomach juices and eat it with his spleen. Paul's missing out. Give the mother my regards in hell. We got it! Alright. Alright. We gotta be careful now. Think, 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 think. Blade is bound, and he can't do anything! This house belongs to Mother. As you belong to us, we shall start with your juicy entrails. Then, slowly savor your delicious brains! For the rest of you, Shaddy. Thanks. 
Rightfully, no. Alright, so... He leveled up! Alright. Not Ugh, that punch looks like a red We may not be ready for this thing yet. It might be smarter to pull back until we know what we're up against here. I shall fill your belly with my blade, demon. Exactly. How about another shock? <laughs> we will heal faster than you. Want to bet? They'll be up anytime soon. Hey, come back here and no fight! From me, demon. Hold up. We don't know what we're dealing with yet. Hunter, stop! Here could use a little break. How about I take Eddie here for his afternoon walk? Yes, then I miss Eddie. That's just his way of safety care. Yes, Venom is actually Eddie Brock. Remember that, Chris.
Nice. Yep, Venom is actually Eddie Brock. Okay, this... I told you, we're in a different uh, Marvel... We're in a different Marvel Universe, you guys. Nice. It's great to see Spider-Man. New world or not, some things remain unchanged. The look. The look. The look. Boldly charging headfirst into the jaws of your enemy. Courageously risking the lives of yourself and your teammates. Just to play the hero. Oh boy. This is the Fire Dragon all over again. Fire Dragoon. My memories may be fragmented, but as I recall, I killed the bastard. And all it cost was a village. Uh, of course. I see it now. The look. Cut him some slack. It wasn't that simple. It never is. Which is why I sent you to help. If Spider-Man hadn't come along today, we could have lost far more than... Than the Sanctum or Wanda? She means I could have died. Again, putting an end to her eternal crusade against my mother. Oh dear. Whoa! You've been through a lot. For now, it's enough that you all made it back in one piece. More or less. We'll talk more later. Get some rest. She is just like Alucard, and Lilith is like Dracula. So we increase the friendship. Oh boy. Venom is actually controlled by Lilith. As much as this may sound crazy, but we're going to have to find a way to free him. Not to be the nagging old lady, but I told you not to push too hard. All right. And it would have been far worse had Spider-Man not arrived. He did? No kidding. Caretaker would have been pissed if Venom had actually eaten a hunter. Tuh. Yes, one disaster averted. Oh, hey, Tony. You're out of your suit for now. Hey, for what it's worth, I think you did okay out there. You got some decent hang time. Even uh, given you were wearing, what, 70, 80 pounds of chainmail? On the stark scale of reckless yet daring heroics, I give it a solid 6 out of 10. Don't worry, you'll get there. With a little help. Uh. Yours appreciated. Oh, no problem. Already got a few ideas cooking. You're not allergic to mimetic poly. You know what? Never mind. Why spoil the surprise? I, I couldn't help but overhear Auntie Caretaker over there telling you to get some rest. That uh, sounds like a good idea to me. I suppose I could keep you company on the way, seeing as our rooms are in the same direction and all. Besides, no one should be forced to walk the hallways around here alone. So, here we are. The old room, huh? It's, uh, it's not bad. Functional. Solid construction. Almost cozy. Love the antique furnishings from the early Mephisto collection. Full transparency, Hunter. There's another reason I asked to join you here, other than my abject terror of this entire facility. Stopped here before, while you were out. Wanted to surprise you with a nice little housewarming present. 
was all set to write you a lovely welcome note, but I'm fairly certain that wasn't red ink in your quill. Uh... I assure you, there is nothing to fear here. Well, it's easy to say not to be scared of things that go bump in the night when you are a thing that goes bump in the night. I don't even watch horror movies, and now I'm living in one. Oh, don't be a wuss. Oh, you'll love them. Imagine a painting come to life. Moving, talking, telling a story, one that just happens to be pulled from your very worst nightmare. Or just stop by my room. Fairly certain there's one hanging there already. Well, I suppose I should leave before whatever monstrosity that is most definitely hiding under your bed jumps out, rips my face off, and then proceeds to feast on my soul. I'll leave you to it. May your sleep be filled with pleasant dreams, Tony. Right back at you. Oh, and if you hear the shrieking of a grown man, please ignore it. It's just me, walking to my room. Right. All right, what's this? Hi, I'm Tony Stark. But if you're hearing this message, you already know that. When I'm not saving the world, I solve the world's problems with technological means, like the one you're holding. I call it the Spark, a secure information and communication device built only for superheroes. It does all the usual, private messages, pictures, and calls for some reason. But it also comes with access to Superlink, a private social network exclusively for your cape-wearing, world-saving compatriots. You might ask, Tony, aren't you just repurposing a failed product from your communications division? If you do, I'll revoke access and let everyone else know you're a jerk. I call it the Wonder Man rule. Right. All right. We can explore the room. There never was enough room for my armor in this thing. Ooh. I only have 100 of those um things. Ooh. This will have to wait. I guess I didn't have a choice to I, I had to buy all right what OJ Simpson died journal. Maybe it is time I start writing in it again. Oh dear. What's this? What's that? Alright, so... Painting? Oh my goodness. That has to be Sarah and Lilith. We were all so happy then. Yep, this is... This is definitely like Castlevania. What? All right. Let's rest up. We sure got a lot to work work to do. Oh, she's having a nightmare. What's what's going on? A memory? Stop. 
stop her! Lilith! Child. Oh! Charlie! Charlie? I know, I know. I, I missed you too. Let her enjoy the moment. She's been visiting your door every morning for the past 300 years. Oh, it must have been so hard on her. Not just her. I suppose that's why I might have been a little curt before. A little? You already made the ultimate sacrifice once. Maybe I'm in no rush to see you do it again. We do not choose our destiny. But we can choose to duck. First lesson you ever taught me. And still the most important. Especially now that you have all these eyes on you. I have noticed. To these people, you are a being of myth and legend. A grand hero of old. And they're right. You are a hero. But I also know the battle that rages within your soul. It's not enough that you are a hero. You need to decide what type of hero you will be. I'm sure there will be plenty of opportunity for that in the days to come. For now, I would head to the forge. Our new guests are eager to show you something. This was a lot easier when it was just you and I beheading the Dark Legion as we traipsed through the woods. Don't forget about Agatha. I never could. Wow. Charlie was restless all night. I should have known something was wrong. We'll talk more later, but for now, Stark has requested your presence in the forge. I think he has another present for you. Uh oh. There's the Daily Butte. Oh dear. Oh. Oh dear, the Daily Bugle report bot. And it's and we all know who is doing this. All right. All right. Let's let's go. Next thing to... I know the sanctum is airborne and covered in slime. I don't get it. Strange couldn't just magic his way in. Something about the whole alien thing threw off his mojo. That explains so much. What's no this? Get so strange around me. See what I did there? Got skill, four skill I'm essence. I see everything. <sighs> this is gonna be a fun apocalypse. Looks like Carol and looks like Carol and Blade are Blade nice out of big guns. out of their hero outfits. No more guns in the house. Captain Marvel is an exception. So All right, so he's supposed to be playing nice, right? Yeah. Jameson's post is going to start become a real pain. Whoa. Now, think you can tell your friend inside there to turn it up a few hundred Kelvin? I could. However, it might shatter the containment spell preventing him from incinerating this facility. I think we're good. And just in time. The forge has certainly changed. Right. Caretaker said this all happened after your siesta. What spooky castle would be complete without its own Babylonian demon-powered furnace? Sumerian fire demon. His name is Babs. Oh, now it all makes sense. Well, once you get past the esoteric terror of the situation, I've found this thing actually has some uses. Molecular bonding, breaking down evil gamma serums, fashion accessorizing... Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, speaking of... Oh, right. It's ready. What are they up to? What's this? Your armor seemed to offer minimal protection against the venom creature. I noticed. 
Yeah, I thought you could use an upgrade. Well hammered. Well, caretaker did not mention that you two were such skilled smithies. Yep, I am Iron Smithy. Perhaps lame. You should just try it on. Ooh, looking good. Still think I could have used a cloak. Really? Stylish, damn near indestructible, and we even got the size right. Not Hunter, your new attire suits you quite well. But how are you holding? I know it's easy to look upon me and simply see the universe's utmost authority on all things mystical and macabre, Hunter. However, in addition to being Earth's Sorcerer Supreme, I am also your doctor. You mean a physician of the medical arts? You jest. I assure you, Hunter, I do not jest. They don't call me Mr. Strange, now do they? Except for Tony. Ha! <laughs> Your awakening ritual was admittedly a touch more chaotic than I had originally intended, and well, after your violent encounter with Venom, my oath to Hippocrates compels me to check in with you. Simply put, how do you feel? Um... Physically, I am fine. However, I do feel some... Grogginess, a tinge of nausea, sense of memory loss upon time of passing, watery or itchy eyes, common side effects when one is pulled back into the light. Believe me, I know. If any other symptoms arise, you can always tell me. Particularly if you develop a craving for brains. I have a cream for that. In any event, I, for one, do not know if I will ever feel 100% again after the events of yesterday. I still can't believe what transpired. The sanctum, all that knowledge, Wanda, lost. Swallowed whole by the black mouth of that foul venom creature. With all my resources, all my gifts, I should have seen this outcome spelled out in the sacred geometry of this universe years ago. But I miscalculated. While we bask in the light of peace, our enemies conspire within our shadow. You truly are your mother's child. Oops. I would not know. I am simply paraphrasing caretaker. The point is understood either way. We must remain ever vigilant if we are to prevail. It's not just the Sanctum Sanctorum that was lost yesterday. It was my protege, Wanda. She was... is... My charge, my responsibility, and I failed her. But I am determined not to let that happen with you, Hunter, which is why I am here to answer any questions you may have. Perhaps my wisdom may benefit you more than it has me thus far. Okay. That creature on the roof, you have run into it before? Unfortunately, yes. In the simplest of terms, Venom is an alien species living in symbiosis with a human known as Eddie Brock. Yep. He's something of a fixture in New York these days, but typically his hijinks are confined to harassing Spider-Man. My mother has a gift for bringing out the worst in people. Yes, and in this case, I happen to be the direct victim of her ambition. I fear the Sanctum may never be the same. Alright. How did Wanda come into your care? Wanda's story is quite tragic and perhaps not mine to tell. There was an accident on the Abbey grounds not long ago. Involving Agatha.
I feel like everyone is avoiding mention of Agatha. I can't say I'm surprised. Who is this Agatha? Place. You should speak to Sarah about her when you're ready. Okay. Tell me about your sanctum's wards of protection. I have never heard of a protection spell that powerful. In your time, I'm sure you've encountered a variety of minor wards and protective spells. The Sanctum Santorum was shielded by one such incantation, but greatly amplified by the convergence of ley lines. Will the wards ever provide the same protection that they had? It may be possible to undo the damage, but now that a weakness has been exposed, I'll have to rethink my approach entirely. Tony did offer a military-grade laser protection grid. Should I be so inclined to go that route? Okay. Let us talk later. Visit whenever you like. It's not often I get to converse with a true legend. All right. Let's go ahead and talk to Tony. I hate to admit it, but somehow this ancient forge puts any arc reactor I've got to shame. Who would have thought mystically bound demon power would be so damn energy efficient? Or carbon neutral? Certainly got that new suit of yours done a lot faster than I expected. Speaking of, what's the verdict, boss? It is nice having an armorer on demand. Anytime. I tried to make this version a little less palatable to that symbiote thing. Was this close to making it menthol flavored. But tools are just one part of the equation. You gotta know how to use them too. You were out, what, 300 years before we woke you from your eternal rest? I'm betting you have questions, so ask away, Hunter. All right. I take it this new version is a technological marvel? Impact resistant carbon composites, some patent pending alloy mesh, and a few touches from Dr. Spooky over there. And hey, the built-in communicator means we can talk to each other without sending a raven. So, it is a marvel, then? Lightweight, nearly indestructible, and modular enough for future upgrades. Frankly, I wouldn't have used your old suit to wax the Mandarin's car. Is all this magic a threat to your new technology? I might surprise some people to hear this, but I do like some things with rules. Isotope decay, magnetic fields, James, and I get it. Wanda's not to be trusted after what she did. And a sprinkle of sunshine. At least they did before everything changed. I cannot help but feel partially responsible. Well, I wouldn't take it personally. We were detecting changes in both magic and science months before you woke up. But yeah, things have definitely hit high gear since then. You must have an interesting origin story of your own. Well, just your typical American boy. Pops was a founding member of the military industrial complex. Mom, yep. a famous socialite. Yep. Tragedy struck when I lost them both in a car crash, which turned out to be a hit from a rival corporation. I spent my early teens at MIT, trying to clear my head. I was all set to follow in Dad's footsteps as a war profiteer. Then one day, fortune shined on me, in the form of some errant shrapnel that lodged itself just above my heart. Yep. So I did what anybody in that situation would do. I built a super suit and started fighting crime. Mm hmm I guess we have all had difficult childhoods here. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. I can't tell you how hard it was to memorize all that at Skrull Sleeper Camp. Just kidding. Or am I? Yeah, that thing on his chest keeps him alive. Without it, well... You know, he almost died without it. Okay. Thanks for catching me up on things. Anytime. Oh, and speaking of things. Yes? Remember that uh, creepy gamma goop you found from that hopped up Hydra soldier? Well, I gave it a peek and it explains a lot. If you have a minute, meet me at the anvil over there and I'll walk you through it. I promise it'll be worth your time. 
All right. Now, I doubt advanced gamma thermodynamics was a hot topic at ye olde demon hunting school, so I'm just going to give you the condensed version. I appreciate that. Closest I've ever seen to this substance is pumping through Bruce's veins. Part gamma accelerant, part unknown element. Calling it coil for now, given its unique atomic structure. Man, You're right, man, James. This stuff is more volatile than Nick Fury on a Monday morning, but Hydra doesn't seem to mind. They are using it to get stronger. Exactly. A few drops would make your average salamander look like Fin Fang Foom. Oh! Thankfully, with a little help from Dr. Spooky and our haunted oven over here, I think two can play at this game. You are not suggesting we start injecting ourselves with it. No, 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 no. Nothing like that. Though I can see some future applications for my energy drink line, I was thinking we apply this stuff towards upgrading our equipment. I like where this is going. Just give me a little time here and I can whip up some pretty fun toys. How about we give Hydra a taste of their own gamma-powered medicine for a change? Uh, give me a sec. Okay. All right, we've What's got up? the, uh... Analyzing... If me turns into a giant gateway to ancient Egypt, I'm quitting. Oh. All right, so we got the gamma coils. So... Take your pick, oh. Hunter. All right. We have to choose one, I think. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Oh, we can... Ch okay, I have to choose one. Okay, looks like Blade wants to talk to us. Wow, a pool! Welcome to the yard. At least that's what we're calling it these days. Ooh, Can't his eyes! In charge of your training. Too bad she didn't listen to me yesterday. Now that we know what we're up against, I think we can all use the practice. Any questions? Um... I did, but they are about you. Right when it's time to train? From all Sarah told us about you, she never described you as lazy. Everyone loves you when you are dead. Tell me, does that mean you are half-loved? <laughs> she didn't describe you as a Oops. snarky jackass, but here we are. All right, Tony Stark Jr., ask your questions. Can I ask about you? I guess. Is your name really Blade? Is your name really The Hunter? Yes. Oh, I... really? Your mom, before she became the mother of demons, looked into your cradle and decided to name her firstborn child The Hunter. That is how I understand it. It takes all kinds. So, is your name really Blade? No. What is it? It's private. Is it embarrassing? No, The Hunter, but I only share it with friends. You do not consider me a friend? Not yet. Don't take it personally. Yeah, I think... I think Blade... We all know what his real name is, but he just preferred to go by Blade. I don't know why, though. Probably to keep his identity or real name a, a secret. How did you become a Dampier? You say that like I had a choice. 
I was born this way. How is that possible? A vampire bit my mother. Problem was, I was still in the womb. I'm lucky I was even born. Don't know if that's how it always is, but that's the way it went down for me. So, it looks like he was born this way because his mother got bitten by a vampire. I don't exactly know. I think of myself as mid-twenties, maybe. I lost a lot of time. Much of the last century was a blur. I have occasional memories. Almost like coming up for air before being yanked back down into the depths. What happened? I killed a lot of vampires. I hadn't lost my mind exactly, but I got into a rhythm and never stopped. Never had a reason to stop. Not until I met Caretaker. And then? She gave me a reason to stop. Okay. What brought you to the Abbey? Caretaker. About ten years ago, she brought me back to the real world. Gave me a place to stay until I came back to myself. Did she ever say why? She said she thought I'd be able to kill more vampires if I was acting on more than just instinct. But I know it was more than that. She gave me safe haven here at the Abbey. Something I'd never known. Must have read half the books in the library by the time I headed out. So when she reached out and asked me to be part of this weird little club, of course I showed up. How so? You don't believe what? Tell me about the Midnight Suns. All right. Do you have any thoughts on the team as a whole? I think we're the only ones aware of the danger Lilith poses to this world. And I think we're pretty green. But enough training will get us through it. Speaking of training, we doing this, or are we gonna keep wasting daylight? Oh, he is... I am ready to train. Finally. Sorry, Blade. Alright. So... What's up? Thanks, Blade. Mm-hmm. Sure. All right. We need to upgrade Time abilities. To the next level. Okay, the only one that's available is the the hunter. Nice. See you around. Don't worry. All right. Hey, Carol. Yeah, her name is Carol Danvers, also known as Captain Marvel. We all would know what her story is. Like the way you move out there, Hunter. Guess Doctor Strange picked the right supernatural demon hunter to resurrect. I'm Carol, Carol Danvers. Uh, you can call me Captain Marvel. Yep. Kidding. Carol's fine. Just thought I'd throw a bone to the Avengers PR team. Not gonna lie. A few rounds in Vampire Guy's Magic Thunderdome sounds like fun, but we've got bigger fish to fry. Well, not so much fish as that ginormous invulnerable sewer monster that swallowed the Sanctum. Right. Every lock has its key. True, if only a man-eating alien demon monster hadn't eaten ours. But that got me thinking. Strange Caretaker and the rest of the funky bunch can try and magic their way through that shield all they want. <sighs> if my time as a pilot taught me one thing, it's that sometimes you've got to find a workaround. As in Hydra, they've got to know the way inside. Steve's always said they aren't much for talking. But then again, I'm told I can be rather persuasive when I need to be. She's mentioning Captain America. Steve Rogers. Just how far are you willing to go, Captain? Let's just say that I'm willing to unleash the power of a quantum singularity white hole on them if need be. 
A quantum what? You'll see. Find me in the war room when you're finished here. There's a few things we should discuss. Oh, and Hunter? Yes? Welcome back from the dead. I say asleep, just like how Alucard. Hunter. Yeah? Probably. Nothing is certain these days, but these readings are too distinct to ignore. The hey, gamma Bruce. signature is. Sorry, Bruce, we lost you. Did you say gamma? Yes, get. Uh, hang on a second. Come on, Tony. You managed to stream the Super Bowl to a Cree battleship 50 light years out. This should be easy. Oh, we waited all year for that game, and you know the Skrulls would have spoiled it for us if they got the chance. Well, can't you just. I don't know. Yeah, the Kree is not again? to be not See, trusted. The, this... the Kree is not to be trusted. Completely inverted. The daughter nuclei are being reabsorbed into the parent nuclei. Which hey, is Bruce. Impossible. If the gamma signature from the Sanctum is really that unique, Bruce, then couldn't we just... Sorry, I'm still working out a few gremlins in the system. Really, Tony? Try sunlight, and whatever you do, of... Wait, you're being serious? Yeah, just a kick. We should be able to track this new gamma signature to its source then, right? I'd do it myself, but we seem to be having a little IT trouble today. <laughs> Please. Old Central here is ready to grind through that data like chunk. What exactly is a Central? C-E-N-T-R-A-L. Cognitive Encryption Net Transmogrification. Uh, we'll figure it out later. Sending coordinates now. Right. Hope your gremlins enjoy gamma spectroscopy. Ah, well, he's been a little moody lately, ever since, you know, the problem with the big old green I guy. I heard that. Okay, uh, don't get him angry! To the Hulk? Not sure if we should be frightened or relieved. That makes two of us. Okay. Whoa, calm. Come Down. On. Happens to everyone. Well, okay, not everyone. Nice work, Bruce. I know that place. A creepy abandoned warehouse in the bad guy part of town. My favorite kind. Anybody up for paying it a visit? Definitely. Aw, see that? Teamwork goosebumps. Find me when you're ready. Multi-million dollar piece of experimental technology, and she kicks it. Okay, uh... Okay. Okay, I'm going to end this stream uh, 10 minutes early for tonight, and we'll continue with more of Marvel Midnight Suns uh, tomorrow. I hope you guys are enjoying this. I know I am, since it involves card, card games. And whatnot. Too bad. I don't think. I don't think Paul, Wes, and Cody probably wouldn't enjoy it. Anyway, I thank you guys for coming. This is Dragon Wars signing out, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night, everybody.